Turning now to the war between Russia and Ukraine. Dominic Velaitis has been monitoring developments in this conflict and he joins us now from Latvia's capital, Riga. Dom, Ukrainian officials are now urging residents of a town in Ukraine's eastern front to evacuate. What exactly is happening there? Yeah, that's right, uh, Natasha. And I should start really by saying that a lot of the focus uh, over the last uh, 11 days or so has been on the Russian region of, of Korsk and, and the Ukrainians' uh, incursion there. But now the attention, it seems, this morning has shifted back to Ukraine, back to the Eastern Front, uh, back to Donetsk region, and specifically back to uh, the city of Pokrovs, because uh, that is where uh, it is a very important uh, logistical hub for the Ukrainians. It serves as, a, as a, an important uh, supply route for Ukrainian forces and really supports their operations in that particular part of the world. But Natasha, it's also a place this morning uh, where the authorities are really, really uh, sounding uh, the alarm because Russian troops, we are told, are advancing at a very fast pace uh, towards uh, Petrovsk and to other settlements uh, in the nearby area as well. Indeed, President Volodymyr Zelensky very recently uh, said that, uh, that uh, Petrovsk and uh, other towns in Jornetsk are, quote, facing the most intense uh, Russian assaults. Um, I should say, Natasha, that the, the alarm bells have been ringing uh, for a few weeks about this, but they are now at, at fever pitch and sounding very loudly as uh, Russian forces move at pace towards Petrovsk and other uh, settlements uh, in the area. Natasha. And what's the latest that we know, at least, about Ukraine's push into the Kursk region? Well, I just want to start by, by alerting you to uh, some new footage that uh, has been released today by the Ukrainian military, footage which it claims shows the, the opening uh, moments of, of its incursion uh, into the town of, of Sudja, which is approximately 10 uh, kilometers inside of, uh, of Russian territory. And uh, the largest, the Ukrainians say, of 80 settlements, which they claim to have now taken since launching their offensive uh, their incursion 11 days ago. And they're also saying, Natasha, that they've now advanced 35 uh, kilometers into Russian uh, territory. Uh, and uh, Kyiv claiming uh, today that uh, its forces have taken full control of this particular town. Now, we can't verify uh, those reports, Natasha, but it does add weight to uh, reports that were aired on Ukrainian state television earlier this week, which showed Ukrainian forces pulling down a Russian flag from a building in the center of that uh, at that particular town. Um, it is relevant because, as I say, it is the largest uh, settlement which uh, the Ukrainians claim to have taken since launching uh, its incursion. But it's also uh, home to some pretty critical infrastructure which is responsible for pumping Russian national gas uh, towards Europe. So it is a very, uh, very important uh, uh, town uh, and one, as I say, which the Ukrainians now claim to have complete control uh, over, Natasha. Dominic Velaitis in Riga, thank you so much.